So here's the inside of the 3D mask. This is the elastic and this is the cover and in, in between is a three ply filtering material that I I cut from an older mask just as an experiment to see how well this works. So this snaps in place. Actually, you're supposed to snap this in and then twist it to lock. The filtering material acts like a gasket too, so it's a pretty good seal. The only part that is not sealed perfectly is this, this part. So I guess you can put some foam material here to make a very tight seal. So this just snaps in like that, right? You see the knobs here and it fits in. And this is the filtering material. And you can have ones that are ready made. I poke a little hole in over here on three sides so I can fit the filtering material onto the cover. Yeah, and then uh, after you use it, throw out the small piece. Because of the plastic mask, you, you don't have to waste a whole big piece of material to protect yourself. You just need a small tiny piece and you can use any kind of material. This filter material has three plies. You have the plastic coated top and then you have uh, synthetic uh, material as a second ply and also a third layer. So the top coating is supposed to stop the droplets from, from going through. So that's the idea. That's the inside. Right, that's pretty good, I think. I'll give you the link to the Thinky First file if you want to print one out.